Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise with the Lux of Retail Games. On the last episode, we left the capital Vicent uh, to continue on our journey alongside Dohalim and eventually Kisara, who decided to join us because she thinks that she has found her purpose in wanting to take down the crown contest as well. And she also wants to figure out some more stuff about the things that she wants to do. Which makes sense. So we started heading on our way to the next area, which is Mahaksar. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get very far. We've mostly been going along this road here, but we did do a bit of fishing. We did do a bit of chatting, you know, getting to know everyone. It's been fun. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that we did. I think plot is that way, so we're not going to go that way. <laughs> we're going to continue um, exploring this area since we spent quite a while doing it last time and still didn't explore the entire thing. So, let's see what else we can find here. There's supposed to be a hootle, not a hootle, an owl somewhere nearby. So I would like to look for that if I can. Err. Uh, hi there, don't mind me. Just gonna grab this. Err, uh, oh this is where I got chased before, I see. So, what's in this direction? Just items? An orange gel, nice. A, a fight, oh god. Do it. Fine, freak. This one's got your name on it. Access to access. A merry distraction. There's still more to go. A merry distraction. <laughs> oh dear. Playing is totally this fun. Any chance we could make the next time a little bit warmer? Does it look like it comes with a thermostat? Oh, like is it a warmer welcome? Oh. Oh, I didn't get the pun there. <laughs> it took me a minute. Okay, I got it. It's fine. Uh, so what's in this direction? Oh, it's just a little dead end. I see. Oh no. Uh. That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out who I haven't seen the boost things for with Dohalim, and I think Kisara might be the only one. Because we just saw the one with Shion, so it might just be Kisara, and I'm wondering if that's on purpose. Because, uh, like, they haven't, uh, they're struggling a bit. They're struggling a bit right now. I missed a thing down there. Oh, because I was trying to get away from the bird, I see. Okay, so if I go to here. My heart skipped a beat there. I'm sure it did. Uh, so, oh, wow, there's one hawk. Wow. Wow. Look what I just found. What's this place here? Some kind of old house? Hmm. I don't know about that. If I had to guess, it probably served as some kind of shrine. So it's still a house, in a sense. Just for a god. Huh. Interesting. Well, it seems to have uh, Zoogles in here right now. Hello. Opted for an intricately crafted weapon, as usual. It is beautiful in both function and form. You're gonna hate when it gets scratched. Hmm, perhaps. Hey, we just got a scale of nowhere. Doholim the Evasive. Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> I see he still really uh, resents himself, huh? Oh, hello! Oh no, you need healing! 
Let me heal you. This is costing more and more each time. I was so preoccupied dealing with a Zoogle, I slipped and fell. Make sure you don't make the same mistake as me. Okay, we got a raging storm beak, thanks. Err, uh, so... Oh! This is a completely different area. Cool. This is interesting. Um, yeah, we are kind of low on CP, huh? Only 60. I'm gonna try and avoid battles for a little bit. Um, if I can, anyway. Okay, this is fine. Ooh, ooh items, items. Uh, so much for avoiding battles. Oh, I did it. Oh, I didn't expect that to work. Hello, don't mind me. Oh, I wanted to mine that. Oh, no. Now I'm carting around two wolf things. Yoink, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we did it. Nice. Err... Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to cart around every single enemy here, but oh dear god. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. I think it must be a plot thing that is the reason why... Looks like... Err... Uh, I haven't seen the burst between these two yet. Err... Uh, Doholim and Kisara. It must be, surely. Some solid equipment. <laughs> you would think, like, on a random chance of hitting Doholim every single time that you would eventually get him and Kisara, but... Apparently not. Alright, well, there's nothing else in this area. Shall I just head on out again? I just went in there for a cloak, I guess. I was kind of hoping the owl would be here. I'm still looking for that. But, oh well, it's okay. Oh, I have zero CP as well. I should really go and rest at a camp. Was there a quick travel spot behind the, beside the camp? Uh, if I go back to Mountain Trail... Oh, the camp was all the way that way. Uh, that being said, there is a quick travel spot. You know what? Yeah, let's fast travel over there. I don't mind if I have to run all the way back. Just, we're out of CP and could really use a camp. I hate camping out. Well, too bad for you. Let's rest. Want something to munch on, Hoodle? I thought you weren't supposed to be feeding Hoodle. Maybe that's what the skit's about, old habits die hard. No, Halim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, he's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law? I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow! Thanks, Kisara! Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything I know, and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a renin and especially as a lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both renins and danins alike. Sure, that's how all you renins are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? The truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here, fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. 
Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. She does have that kind of maternal air about her, doesn't she? Oh, that was a good skit, though. It's it's definitely such a complicated topic, and I'm glad that they're, t they're talking about this kind of thing. It's... God, I just really like how this game is handling things so far. Let's rest. Err, uh, what do I want to cook? I mean, dropped items is never a bad thing. Hmm. Earned combat points up? It's combat points... CP? All done. Come and eat. I don't know how I earn CP, but I would like to, please. You okay, Shion? You're not eating very much. What's wrong? Do you not like the cheese fondue that you made? Yeah, I'm used to seeing you more excited about food. You're not feeling sick, are you? No, I'm fine. It's nothing like that. It's just... What? I guess I just don't understand what the appeal is. We could just as easily put everything on a plate and pour the cheese on top of it instead. I suppose it lies in being able to decide exactly how much cheese you want. There's also something to be said for enjoying how it all turns out. It's fun. That's fine and all, but I wish the plate to mouth time was shorter. I think I understand. You don't like having to put in so much effort into eating something, do you? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Actually, now that I think about it, you're a way less fussy eater than you look, Xion. In my book, there's no one right way to eat a meal. Tuck in, take your time, be dainty or devouring. As long as you enjoy the food, that's what counts. There's no need to stand on ceremony while we're out camping in the wilderness. E yeah, you're right. In that case, don't mind if I do. I've never seen someone dump that much cheese on a meal before. What can I say? She's a hungry girl. <laughs> oh, I love her though. She's great. All right, all right let's chat with Kisara since she's new. We've not talked with her before. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the guard. Now it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie in the sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. You are now closer to Kisara. See you tomorrow. Oh, it's good that she can remember him so fondly. Before we go, do you guys have everything? She's so maternal. Yeah, like, the fact that even though she didn't have the best parting with her brother, like, they didn't leave on the best terms, or he didn't leave this world on the best terms with her. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Even despite that, it's the fact that they can, that she can still look back on those memories fondly. 
Like, that's so special. And it's so good that she can. Yes, I got that peach shell, finally. Err... Uh, right. Let's try and avoid battles. Or run right into one. <laughs> cool! Okay, maybe it wasn't plot reasons. Maybe I was just unlucky until now. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. I am enjoying this game so much. My goodness. Okay, err... Uh, so I think we've been pretty much everywhere. That ridge seemed interesting, but I don't know that we're allowed to go there. Because it seems like that way is the plot way. Oh, I'm so curious about it, but... Well, I mean, we could probably go there. Let's see what it is. I don't know which way's plot, I want to know what the other place leads to first. Whether it's plot or not. Err, uh, so... Might as well have a look. I don't really know. Hmm. Like, is it an area we're gonna go to later? Will there be something to stop us going any further anyway? Is it worth just looking to see what it is? Is it worth making Law break his knees? Oh, hey! New emblem! For Kisara, all pulverizing hammer. Ooh. That's cool. With her great shield that with her while well, her great shield can get the job done too, nothing replaces Kisara's trusty hammer, which she uses to smash, bash, and thrash her foes. Cool. I'm in good form. I'll crush any enemy with my mace. Awesome! We've got an avatar of destruction here! Truly, she leaves naught but rubble in her wake. Are you guys asking to be your next target? Skills in top form? Art's working like a charm. Ha. Someone seems rather pleased with herself. Uh, you... Did you hear all of that? <laughs> oh no, I love them both! Kisara and Shion might be my favourite party. <laughs> well, no, all of them are great. Oh, I love them all. I can't pick favourites. They're all too good. Oh no! They did such a good job on the party in this game. I mean, they always do his tales, but oh, god, I love them. Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niez, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I- Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... for you. For me? Why? All I desire. Whoa, 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 fight? Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? I this fight came out of absolutely nowhere. He has a lot of health. Surely we are not level 28, but oh my god. Oh my god. Who the hell are you? Bastard! 
This guy's not normal. His speed is unbelievable. You mean he even surpasses a lord? Thank you for that. Oh, oh my god. This is scary. This is slightly scary. Can you... Boom. Will that stop him? I don't know. It won't escape me. Resonate with the earth. Uh, oh my god, hi! Hi, how you doing? Uh, can I hit? Ooh! Well, that's cool! Uh, who is he? What does he want? I just... I'm so curious. I am so curious about this guy. Oh god. I can't even heal. I can't even heal. Who is this guy? I mean, I know we've seen him once before, but... He is so interesting. I didn't mean to use that twice. Oh no. Ah. He's hurt? That didn't do anything. Oh my god. Okay, fight. I'll fight you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That did enough. Okay. What's happening? That you've got. Very well, then die. Wake up, please! Alfin? Shion! Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. 
That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I, I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Alfin? Sorry. I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Danon astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nies, the capital of Mahagsar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey. Mm. Holy crap, I'm obsessed with that scene. Oh my goodness. I think we just gained so much information. I know that we still have so many questions, but like, did you even see that little bit of a flashback? Like, that had to have been Shion, right? In, in the flashback? Because he recognized her that one time. And like, it, it only happened after he tried to protect Shion, and that light came. And it was behind his mask, behind his other eye. So it came from him, so it had to be astral energy somehow. I'm so curious, like, I have an idea, I don't want to say it just in case though. Oh. Hey, are we gonna get going or what? Yeah, okay, let's, let's look at the skit, missed signals. How are you holding up after that last fight? You're not too hurt, are you? I'm fine, really. See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses, too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh, <laughs> I can't feel pain, but you still can, can't you? <sighs> look, I appreciate you're trying to look out for me, but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. I just... They care about each other so much! They just want to protect each other, but they can't, like, get that across to each other. Oh, I'm obsessed! Oh, god, I love this. Okay, okay. Let's, let's continue on, shall we? Our... Is there anything else in this area? I don't think so. I think this was just a like that guy, that guy who just came out of nowhere. Ugh! I got so much to think about. Okay, okay, this is the right way, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my god. 
I just have so many questions, so many theories. I'm obsessed with this game. I love it. It's so good. What the frick? They've done such a good job on this game. I... Holy cow. I love Tales games. Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? I honestly question whether... Whether there's not a lord here. But then again, this looks like it must have been recent. There's still smoke coming out of things. Hmm. Also, this music is very pretty. Alright, we have a skit here. Niez, a city in ruin. All of these ruins look like they were made pretty recently. But if that's the case, then where do you think the people that used to live here went off to? There must have been Danans and Renans, right? That's a good question. Even if the Danans rebelled and managed to overthrow the Renans here, there should still be some people around. This debris... Do you think it could be the work of Renan Astral Arts? Perhaps, but the appearance of these ruins is rather uniform, which leads me to believe otherwise. Hey, Rinwell. That story you told us about the Dark Wings... It said that the evil king was vanquished with a holy flame, right? Yeah, that's right. Then there might be some truth to that old story after all. It looks like all the rubble here had been scarred by flames. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. If we can find someone around here, we might be able to get them to tell us what happened. Perhaps. Oh, I'm just thinking about so much and I have so many questions. Ah, I have an- uh, We have another skit here, Raising Dohalim. Dohalim, you forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh yes, I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. How to comb your hair is equally important. And learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there, 
She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, and another thing. About your owl, Rinwell. What? what is it? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> this is why I hate you, Renans! Did I say something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all. Uh, I think he's gonna take a while to adjust to being a normal person, but give him time. We'll eventually get it, hopefully. Uh, as oh yeah, speaking of that scene that happened before, that guy was about ready to freaking kill Hootal. Like, I am ready to fight him just for that. Like, Hootal is a good boy. Leave him alone. Anyway, uh, let's have a look around here. See if we can find anything. This place is oddly beautiful for being destroyed. Er, uh, oh, I see there's two different ways we can go. Um, well, let's go this way first since the route's shorter. Oh, this music's very pretty. And it kind of lends itself to this eerie atmosphere too. Is that the owl? I think I see the owl. It has a little... What is that? A rose on your head? That's so cute. Oh, hoo hoo. A red rose corsage. A rose hair clip ex exuding class. You can never go wrong with one of these last when attending a last minute ball. Uh, they're going to be green in this realm. Maybe something's going on in the forest. It's so very desolate here. But like, how, how do they harvest wind? That's such a- I'm so curious about that. Anyway, let's have a look at the, the red rose corsage. Also, it also goes in the hair. It sticks out a lot more than the tropical corsage. It's still nice though. Err... Uh, it automatically pins to the hair. In previous Tilly games it was like an actual corsage like on your chest, but... Huh. Anyway. I don't think it looks too bad. We've actually not seen any of them for Dohalim or... Kisara. Oh my god. I love the sunglasses on all of them. They're great. He kind of suits half frame glasses. Even the normal glasses, actually. Oh god, the monocle. Oh, well, the giggle glasses are the wrong skin tone for him, but it's still kind of funny in its own way. Oh man. Yeah, it's fun looking through all of these. All the, the Shiba Inu ears, that's fun. And the wolf ears. And the cat ears. And the buddy ears. Lots of ears. Halo, devil horns. I forgot I even had the devil horns, I'm gonna be honest. Crown. <laughs> I mean, the crown is fitting. Tropical corsage, rose corsage. It actually looks really nice on him. Our devil wings. Our... The tail goes through his cape a little bit, but that's okay. Our cat tail and buddy tail. Cute. And then Kisara. She looks really cool with the sunglasses. <laughs> oh god, she reminds me of like the cool bodyguards you see in movies with like a suit and sunglasses. Um, she looks like a mother with the half frame glasses though. <laughs> oh man. Ah, I see. Laughter glasses are, are great on her as well, my goodness. Uh, she actually can like, why do all of them actually kind of suit the ears? Oh, the cat ones actually go really well for her because of the whole lioness theme. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. I know that lionesses don't have the same shape of ears, but... Oh, she looks really pretty with the hibiscus corsage. That's so good. And the rose as well. Oh, that's so pretty. And then the bat wings. Devil wings, sorry. The dog tail. Wolf tail. Cat tail. She's already got a tail, so she doesn't need a second one. And the rabbit tail. Cool. And then, obviously, we can look at the Red Rose Corsage on Rimwell. Oh, she looks so cute with both of the corsages. And then, obviously, Law as well. Actually, that works really well on him! Huh. I guess because his hair sticks up a lot. Hmm. Anyway. Er... Oh, kitty! This place isn't totally abandoned, then. Oh yeah, also the fact that the group that, that Rimwell was telling us about is called the Dark Wings definitely tickled me. 
<laughs> They're a recurring feature within Tales games. Our, is this where we're supposed to go? It's locked. I see. We're not allowed to go that way. I, I'm very curious. Is that like a fortress or something? Hmm. It's almost a bit eerie, actually, this music. A little creepy. But I guess this town is eerie and creepy. Hmm. What are those out in the valley? Windmills? They're huge. They're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big. Oh, cool. That makes sense. Like wind turbines. Yeah, I was gonna say this place looks like it would hey, be. Are we gonna get going or what? This place looks like it would be very beautiful at one point. You know, before whatever happened here happened. Uh, that must be some type of. Oh, maybe that's where they keep the. No, that can't be where they keep the core. The core must be up there. Huh, I don't know what that is. I'm so curious. Maybe it's the way up to the tower. Because we can only go that. Oh no, there actually are a couple of. I. I I don't know where, we're, where we are. I don't know what this place is. It's very cool. It's definitely not much here, but... It's weird being in such an abandoned place. All of you, stop right there! Don't move! They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? You first! Show yourself! I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. What are you... My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Bayfong of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. You do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadeye. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, yes. I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. Definitely. I'm surprised they managed to take down the Lord here. I mean, understandable, I guess, but wow. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, uh, Alfin's hand was just like embery fire after he put on this, like, the, uh, made the sword go on fire. And he didn't put it out or anything. The shield didn't heal him. <laughs> like, okay. Um, also, the dark wings are still here. That's fun. <laughs> it tickles me greatly. Uh, hi there. What is this? Beyond here is the aerial plaza that leads to Al Almadra's castle. But for now, it's sealed off, so I'll have to ask you to turn away. Okay, thank you. Almadra, right? Almadra? Hmm. That must have been the Lord here before she was taken down? Hmm. 
And then this way, I think it's locked, probably. Not this way, I guess. Or we just get told not to go that way. Fair enough. I guess we're forced to go to plot, huh? Oh, not like there's anywhere else we could go. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I... Chicken! Fair enough. Hi. These are the headquarters of the Darkwings. Right now, these are temporary accommodations. At some point, I imagine we'll build something better and move into that. Fair enough. Well, let's have a look, shall we? So you're Elfin, are ya? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the Blazing Sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then- mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. <sighs> friends? Renans are Renans. Scum-sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! But you know that. Maybe it's because you know the little lady. Our friends and more. <gasps> That's enough! Deadeye, you know that was completely uncalled for. <laughs> All of you, get the hell out of my realm! And don't ever come back! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here! And I make the rules! I do, Deadeye! Leader of the Dark Way! Yes! Deadeye! Liberator Deadeye! You are the true leader of this realm! We're not afraid of any bright eyes! It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! Hey, wait up! Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. 
He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon? Deadeye mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadeye. This isn't Deadeye's war. And we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renins. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. Man, that scene was intense. That... Ugh. The leader of the Darkwings in this particular game. I hate him. I don't like him at all. He's awful. Oh, wow. He's terrible. Dear God. Anyway, that was a very intense scene. My goodness. Gosh. Interested to see where this all goes. Anyway, we have a skit here. Dead I'm the Dictator. <laughs> I get the feeling Deadeye signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a rooster rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is... When you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. <sighs> I absolutely agree with him. It's... <sighs> Anyone being belittled and made to feel like they're not worth anything. It's not right at all. <sighs> this is such an interesting part of the game! Okay, we have another skit here. Differences among rebels. I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful. And because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. 
If it had been Zephyr instead of Deadeim, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling, but at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Deadeye and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah. Seriously, using explosives with his own people. Anyway, we have another skit here. Music to a lord's ears. The city is liberated, and yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicent once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danons with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves, and outright forbade the ownership of instruments, is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. Yeah, it's a real shame when things like arts and music and all sorts of culture is just wiped completely. It's awful. Anyway, 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 we need to stop because uh, we've got a little bit over and I've got stuff I need to do. So hi, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today if you feel like it, including plot. We did quite a little bit of plot today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, more plot, probably. We'll rest at the end, see what else happens. I. Dear God, a lot happened in this episode that I'm excited about. But yeah, for now, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever other time it is for you. And I will see you next time. Out of nowhere! This is such a cool scene, oh my god. Oh. Oh no! Let him go! Oh no! Oh no, don't don't you dare! Leave her alone! Oh my god, he was ready to kill who <laughs> The tension, the cinematics, oh my god. Nice. Oh. That was a good shot. <gasps> Shion, no! Shion! Oh my god. She's not dead. She's not dead. Oh, thank God. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle. The Darkwings. That's the Darkwings crest. God dang it, the Darkwings. <laughs>
You mean the Thieves Guild? It's from an old... Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? Please don't burn down a house. So you're Elfin, are ya? Hi. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Oh no. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, Oh huh? no. Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Ugh. Your but the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. Oh god, I hate this guy. Is it not? If Shut so, then- mouth, witch, that's enough! I hate this guy. And you're really fighting for us, Danans. Oh my god. Why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? Can we leave? I'm not. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. Oof. 